on Twitter, on Twitch TV, and in glorious high definition on YouTube, this is Barn in Effect. As the intro says, this is Barn in Effect, and I'm playing a bit of Black Ops today, and the reason is uh, we're going to have a, a dual com with the Epic Pie, and Black Ops game is going to be in the background, we'll have a, a general chat, hope you enjoy. I have with me today the Epic Pie. How you doing, mate? You alright? Uh, yeah, I'm alright, thanks. How about you? And I so say we've been talking a little bit about the up and coming Black Ops, Black Ops 2. Yeah. Not too sure what the uh, the title of the game is going to be yet. Have you had any thoughts on that? Uh, I'm not sure, to be honest. Uh, there are rumours that it was going to be Iron, Iron Wolf, wasn't it? But I think they've just been like, die down a bit. But um, yeah, I'm not sure. Well, I think it's still going to be based around um, the, you know, when it was the, the Vietnam Vietnam yeah. War and that kind of stuff, espionage, and I say Black Ops was the mission where it was basically behind enemy lines. There was nothing written down if he was caught and he was dead, that kind of stuff. So, um, yeah. What did you What did you like about the the old version, the, the Black Ops? Um, well, personally, it was like probably my favourite game, uh, my favourite Call of Duty game. I know it's not like everyone's cup of tea, but I don't know, just something about it that's like I I just remember I remember the most rather than any other like Call of Duty, mm -hmm. and well I really like like zombies. I think that's like ever like ma mainly everyone likes zombies, but um, well, I don't know. Yeah, it's really weird that is because when I had Black Ops, I never played zombies at all. Really? No, honest to God, and it was only recently that I started playing zombies and. Um, on the Xbox, I'd never played it before, and I just didn't realise how much fun it was. Yeah, it's absolutely fantastic game. Um, I just played it a bit earlier. Yeah, I think I was sort of influenced by like. Have you ever seen the Syndicate project? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think I was kind of influenced by him, and I just like. I know I played on it with my like friends a lot, but I think he sort of influenced me to like play solo, and I've I've got quite far on solo, especially on like, I think Okino de Tilton. I've got quite far on that. I'm like kind of like an avid zombie player, so yeah, I'm really enjoying it actually. I hope, I hopefully, um, it'll be in the next like Black Ops. It'll be kind of stupid, really, if it's not. But yeah, I mean the way that they've um, been doing the series when it was uh, World at War, and they had the the zombies on that, and then they just developed it more and became even better yeah. zombies. Black Ops, like you say, it'd be foolish not to put it into the new series. Um, something I'm really looking forward to. That's for sure. Yeah. Uh, I mean, on Modern Warfare 2, um, what do you think they got wrong, and what do you think they got right on that? I, 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 don't, I don't know. There's... Well, now I don't really like it. I don't, I don't know why. Um, I, I, I'm not too sure about Modern Warfare 2, really, because I didn't really play it that much. Did you um, not get, was you straight into uh, Black Ops? Was that your first Call of Duty, then? It was probably like my first Call of Duty that I played like moderately quite a lot. Like, Modern Warfare 2, I had it, but I wasn't really... Uh, I didn't really play it that often. Mm -hmm. But, like, Modern Warfare 3, I'm not really too fond of either, really. Um, especially that because, from Modern Warfare 2, I know that it was the same, like, engine. Um, mm -hmm. It was the same, like... It's the same graphics and stuff like that. Which really... I think it's kind of lazy. I don't know about you, but... It, well, they, they were calling it Modern Warfare 2.5 because it yeah. was basically, like you say, everything about it was the same. It was just like a glorified map pack. and Yeah, uh, really. I, I, I was quite disappointed with the maps as well. I think yeah, they, the, the, the maps were, for me, they look pretty, but they don't play very well. And they were yeah, you know, definitely. a little bit too large. There was no real... Uh, apart from Dome, where it, it's fast action paced... Um, it just doesn't really play very well for me. Yeah, and not only that, like about the like the game. I think now because Call of Duty's got so big, um, I think the game is taken too seriously by most people. Like, for example, like say if a lot more people get in the game now, a lot more people will be like thinking, oh, I gotta get my KD up, I gotta get my win loss up or whatever, and they're not really yeah. like playing the game as it is. Like they're not like having fun, if you know what I mean. And it's just well, yeah, I was playing um, uh, Infected the other day for the first time and i don't know how anybody can rage or worry about anything in 
in Infected because it's just a fun game just to run around, play yeah. hide and seek, just trying to kill each other. And people were raging because they kept getting killed. Why play the game if you think, I know. if you're not going to you know, worry if you're going to worry about getting killed? Why play the game? That's what that's what's going to happen. It's just mental. I know. Uh, I I haven't really played Infected a lot. I haven't really played Modern Warfare Three a lot recently, but. In fact, it's probably one of my like favorite game modes at the moment on Modern Warfare 3. It's just so fun. You, mm. <laughs> I, I I don't know how anyone can dislike it. Really, it's just it is really really fun. You just running around, running and gunning. It's just it, like I said, it's really really fun. So really enjoying it. I mean, on some of the stuff with Black Ops that I'd like to see, uh, like so we were talking about the zombies carrying that forward, Definitely. is the um, the customized badges where you could make your own badges. I thought that was just a oh, brilliant. Yeah. yeah, it was. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, just a little thing like that uh, just grabbed everybody's attention, and there was so much creativity out there. People <laughs> who had some <laughs> fantastic designs. I'd really yeah. like to see that in the next one. Yeah, and it sort of opened up like YouTube videos as well, like kind of um, mm-hmm. designing your own and then sharing that on YouTube and stuff like that, and then Absolutely. doing it for yourself. And yeah, the, really, yeah, the, the only things I would say they needed to fix was probably like I think it was Last Stand that. That was just yeah. really annoying. I didn't really think that needed to be in the game. Everybody um, hates it. Yeah. Um, I know a lot of people hate hate on Ghost as well. Mm-hmm. Um, it, uh, to be honest, it is kind of irritating a few times. But really, like anyone, anybody can use it. And really, it is quite a sensible, like, tactical perk. So I'm not too sure about that. I'm, I well, won't be the, too bothered the, the, if it's in the game anyway. Well, in the game that you'll be watching on uh, your channel or my channel, there's an easy counter to the, to the ghost, and that's the blackbird. Yeah, definitely, yeah. And, and the amount of times you were getting it, will make you absolutely <laughs> beasting with this. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I, I'm not sure which gameplay we were using, but me and Bam went on uh, Black Ops. Uh, we had a couple of games on it, and on one of the games, I, I was getting, I was got a blackbird and then dying, get a blackbird and dying. Uh, like, it is kind of disappointing when you, like, go um, die on your kill streak, but... Yeah, like you said, it's it's just an if there's ghost there and you get a blackbird, it's just not a problem really. No, you, you, yeah, it's just a brilliant, brilliant. Um, I think it's pretty <laughs> overpowered kill streak, but it was one of the best kill streaks in the game. It, and yeah. I think, yeah, with um, it, it was good as well because it was a gun only kill streak. And in Modern Warfare Three, they wasted that a little bit by putting the the support kill streak in, where it's not even a kill streak, is it? It's like a support package. You get so many yeah, kills and just, you get it. Yeah, it's just yeah, really. Um, because Black Ops was, I forgot the word, but you basically had to get your gun streak, didn't you, to get yeah, the you, kill streak? And really, it. the UAV and the Blackbird, with the up wall and the counter UAV thing, were only the sort of uh, kill streaks that like sort of increased your gun streak, if you know what I mean. They only really like helped your kill streak rather than like the chopper gun. It got your kills, but it didn't actually like advance your streak. Oh, it did. Yeah, you didn't add to the the streak that you got. You yeah. get got to get your kill streak with the gun. Absolutely, and th- that's the other the other thing I was thinking about as well. The the stealth bomber on the uh, the support streak. That's not even a support, is it? That's an attacking. <laughs> it's an attacking kill streak. It's like why is that there? Yeah. Absolutely, oh, ridiculous. But. One thing I did like on Modern Warfare 3 that I hope they put into Black Ops 2 was the ability to scroll through your kill streaks. So if you've got three kill streaks, say like Predator Missile, uh, Helicopter, and Reaper, yeah. you could choose which one to bring in first because there was nothing worse on um, Black Ops. If you got a chopper gunner and then somebody put a normal helicopter up, you couldn't get your, your chopper your chopper gunner in because the helicopter was there. Yeah, definitely. Or yeah. You couldn't, you know, if you had a, a different kill streak, you could get in. You couldn't stro- scroll through. You had to wait until the helicopter had gone, and it was, a, you know, it was very frustrating, yeah. especially when it was towards the end of the game. Yeah, definitely. And I, I actually like really liked as well. Um, do you know, like, say, if you get your kill streaks again, um, mm-hmm. or, on like Black Ops or any other Call of Duty, you could sort of, you had to die before you get your kill streaks again. But on Modern yeah, Warfare yeah. Three. You, I've, I've always wanted this, like, so you can just carry on. I know it's, it's like, highly unlikely, but you could carry on um, just getting uh, gun yeah. streaks and stuff, and you still get your kill streaks, so that, that was really, really good, I thought. Yeah, you were kind of, like, penalised in the other games for surviving for so long. Yeah. You got your kill streaks, and that was it. To get them again, you got to die, but this rewards you for staying alive. It gives you the opportunity to get the kill streaks again. That's a fantastic yeah. touch. Yeah, definitely, I agree with you there. I think the. 
the hit markers in Black Ops were a bit harsh because you could be shooting somebody, you know, a little distance away and you could hit them three or four times and they've still got the ability to turn around and quick scope you or something. That was one of my bugbears about the game, about Black Ops. It was a bit easier for you to kill people in Modern Warfare 3. Um, yeah, that, that is a good point, actually. The one thing I would say, though, there was, like, I don't know, more exciting gunfights on um, Black Ops because mm. they lasted longer and you could, like, sort of duck and cover and weave and everything. Uh, well, especially on Modern Warfare 2, um, it was basically shot and dead. And uh, sometimes that is kind of good on your part. Like, it's, it's, it's like you would like it on your part, but, like, from when you're yeah. dying, it's not. <laughs> I know what you mean. And uh, the other things, the other things, <clears throat> what they need to take out is last stand or final stand, whatever you call it, and panic knifing. They need to have a look at it and address the situation, and perhaps just have it uh, as like a, a two hit kill rather than a one hit kill. A bit like the the riot shield, when you got to hit people twice with it. I think, you know, I think it'll take that the way that instant panic knife. Knife someone in the leg is not really going to kill them like first time. Absolutely. I mean, especially when somebody goes into last stand and they stab you when they're in last stand and just slash your ankle or something. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you're dead. It's just ridiculous. Definitely. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> well, you've got another channel uh, that you do as well, haven't you, mate? Um. Yeah, I have. So, if you didn't know, I'm, I know generously Ban has like, tweeted out a lot, but if you didn't know, um, I've got a music channel up at the moment. So, basically, a while ago, I, I joined a band. Well, like, it was last summer. I joined a band. And since then, I've just, I really like singing, I really like um, playing guitar, I taught myself guitar, and yeah, I got to the point where I was making gaming videos, or making YouTube videos, and I like to play music, so I thought, why don't I just combine them both? So now I'm playing um, music covers and I'm recording them, put them on YouTube, and yeah, I'm really enjoying it at the moment. If Just to give you a brief idea of what kind of music I upload, uh, my favourite bands probably Oasis, Coldplay and Seraphonic, so just to give you an idea of like, this type of genre, but yeah, so if you like acoustic covers, then um, yeah, if you want to check it out, I'm not sure, but... I, I think so, mate. I've been over there and I've listened to a couple and I think you're absolutely fantastic, and you've got a bit of a fan base as well. We'll put the dis- links in the description, and uh, just make sure you get over there and have a look at his channel, and uh, link in my description, obviously. Uh, same goes to Bam, really. <laughs> uh, I I know a lot of you probably do know Bam, but if you don't, um, if you especially your uh, your inspiration like kind of videos I upload now and again, they are actually really good. If you want to get motivated or inspired uh, before playing Call of Duty or even like real life, I would really I would really advise watching Bam's videos because like I said, they're really good. And yeah, um, thanks for having me on this dual com. No problem at all, mate. If you want to put a few comments below uh, about Black Ops 2, whether you're going to entertain it, are you going to buy it, I'm Barney in effect, signing out. Alright, thanks man, I'm the Epic Pie, and I'll see you later. Peace.